Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we have in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5.18. So, yeah, we're coming into Thanksgiving, and I am really being trying to be positive. I um, just had some things happen that, uh, at work, you know, and you just, nah. so yeah, trying to be positive, Whew. right? Zen. All right. So <coughs> off the hooks, I do have one thing off the hook and it is this birds of a feather cow. That was a kit that came and so here it is it is it is all done except for weaving in my two ends you guys know how I feel about that it is very heavy okay um, I'm not even gonna pretend that it's not I'm sure that that will mean that it's pretty warm too but just the sheer weight and bulk of this says warmth. Now, there are a couple of things. And this isn't always true, but it was rule of thumb back in the 50s and 60s. And I tend to, it, it's my style. So I tend to follow it. It is not nowadays. Everything is... Um, different, you know, everything is a little bit brighter. And so my grandma always told me, she said, don't make your crochet too busy or the pattern will get lost in it. And I thought, Hmm, but as I got older, I understood. So this yarn is a textured yarn. It's got these little bobbles and bubbles. Okay. You can see that all the way through and it is brightly colored. And then we did two colors. I like this pattern, but there is way too much going on for my eyes in this. You can't even see at some points the zigzag pattern or the texture of this and they the zigzags bubble I there is absolutely no way to show you this this line right here is probably the best I'm gonna get to get you the pattern and the bubble okay this pattern for me Okay, with my not too busy crochet, there's a good shot of the pattern, but it's lost in all of this. Okay, um, I would do this again in a heartbeat in a chunky weight yarn. But I would not use two colors and I would not use the textured yarn. I would do this just the pattern itself gives texture to the item. The textured yarn on top of that with the bright colors and all, it's too busy for me. Now this might be perfect and beautiful for somebody else. Okay. Um, and this will make a great gift. I'm not saying that I'm not going to you know, utilize it or anything. But when I consider crochet, I don't make it busy. Either it's crocheted for texture or it's crocheted, you know, for color, but I don't texturize color and use a textured pattern. Okay. It's just too busy for me under those circumstances. 
Um, so, love the pattern. We'll utilize it again. We'll not um, do two colors. I will simply do one. And the only difference would be is I don't have to carry it up the side, which makes this side thicker than this side. So, yeah. Um, super easy pattern to convert to one. Um, and I would do it again, but I would do it in a way that the texture is accented or the color is accented, you know, but not not bright and too busy okay and this is too busy for me i realize that there's a lot of people out there that like busy okay that's why i said it'd make a great gift but i'm not one of the people that do busy with my crochet okay um it's cool yarn but i would not mix it too and i wouldn't make it as busy. I just wouldn't. Okay. So, all right. Next thing up, I am almost finished with this gnome. I haven't spent hardly any time really working on it and getting them done, but I still have to attach the nose. I have the feet done now. I need to weave in all my ends. Okay. But I've got the feet done now, the belt done. The only thing I got to do is, of course, you can't have a gnome without a nose. And then I have his two little arms right here that I need to put on. And then I need to uh, weave in all my ends. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I really don't. <laughs> but uh, I don't like the way he turned out. I don't think he's great enough to give as a gift. So I don't know. I might leave the nose off and see if the dogs want a new dog toy. Who knows? All right. Off the hook, that is all I've got. Um, I am still working on uh, snowflake. It is big and heavy, and it's getting there. I'm still on the same round, I think, as before. And I have not tried to put it on the table to see how big it's getting, to see if it's even close. I'm sure I'm not close. But I didn't do a whole lot with this. I did a little bit, but not enough to say that I did it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go back in the bag. I need to get this one done. But because Christmas is coming faster than <sighs> cattle in a stampede, you know? <laughs> so. Um, all right, so I have one more thing, and this is a dinner plate. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> so I had made this yarn for me, okay, and I had dyed it for me, and at the time, I didn't have anything really in mind for it. I just knew I wanted to make these are kind of my colors. I love these. And it is more pinks and mauves than anything. And I love the pooling of this. It just almost looks, you know, peppermint candy-ish. I don't know. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. But, so, this is hand spun, hand dyed by me. And I've lost a little tag that normally tells me what I have. I know. I'm not very organized. Anyway, so... This, get that out of the way. All right, I am doing the blues. Now this is Crochet Wear by Ann Regis. Okay, and this is one of my favorite go-to hats, but it's supposed to look like that. And I am on right here. Around eight, I am going to make it just a little bit bigger because of the hand spun yarn. I don't have gauge. So I will be um, adding in, which I'm to the part where she says if it doesn't suit you, make it a little bit bigger. Um, 
I just want it one round bigger. Yeah, it's going to be a beret. So, and like I said, it's hand spun, pinks and mauves. Goes great with my work coat. So, but it's working up. That's just one night's worth of work. I, um, did. Now, this pattern does have two different size hooks, too. So, you change in the middle after you get the big beret part done and you start to do the part that goes around it. I've made this before. And you start to do the part that goes around there, you go with a smaller hook. So. Yep. All right. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. So, all right. I think that's all the crochet I have. My spinning, I also haven't done a whole lot in uh, in the fields I don't have anything the duck is doing good he's got his little friends down there um, and he's his little friends come and go he made it through the coldest days I go down there during the afternoon and feed him and I only go every other day because if his friends are there I don't want to spook them so, I go down and put a big old pile of corn and, yeah, leave it for him. And I put some in the water so that other, like, raccoons and all that aren't going to really find it, but he is. And there are fish in the pond, so I'm hoping those fish make it, you know, and are, if the, the pond isn't very deep. So, I don't know if those little fish are going to be around for a whole lot of time. But we'll see. Um, let's see, what else? I was thinking of going to tell you, but I don't know. Oh, I found uh, curtains for the office, not curtain shears. Um, so I made a little clip for you just to kind of put in and show you what I did. <laughs> I didn't, um, I, I just bought stretchy poles and didn't really put them up right, but it looks good and I will figure the rest of it out later. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But here's the clips so, just so you can see what the office looks like now. Okay, so welcome to the office. I did find some shears that I put up and I know it looks dark right now but it's like six o'clock in the morning and we did time change to not say it's darker out. And uh, Anyway, but it does make the room look lighter in here and I love being in here in the afternoon to, you know, do stuff. I say afternoon, anytime after the sun comes up, um, till dark, I'll be in here and, and doing stuff. And it's just a really light, airy feeling now. So I wish you could see it, but I can't do it because it's dark outside. <laughs> okay, if you look close in that video, you'll see the top is they're just over the other hooks. I need to go back and those are spring loaded and I need to put them inside the other um, curtain rods and do it right so that the ruffle isn't as much taller than the <laughs> curtains, but I haven't. I slapped them up there, um, did it one evening and that was it. Oh, I am sorry for the yawns. I don't know. I had a lot on my mind so I know that I'm restless at night. All right, let's see what else. Really, the only other thing that's been going on is I've been working and getting ready for the holiday. This week is Thanksgiving. Um, I have had a little run in with RJ. Not really a run in, just a, a mom thing. Uh, so. RJ, I see me in him so much. He is bound and determined to make it on his own. Okay? He is bound and determined to get by. The problem is, Mom won't let him short the one thing he knows he's not obligated to buy, and that's food. So, he was not feeling very well. And he said he had a headache and all this. And I asked him what he'd eaten that day. And he said, well, so he finally admitted that 
he had didn't have much groceries in the house. He said, Mom, there just isn't anything but ramen noodles or, you know, very little. He says, the chickens aren't really laying eggs right now. It's too cold. And he said, so I've been eating ramen noodles. Well, okay, that's not enough when you don't feel good. Ramen noodles is not enough to sustain you. You need protein. So it's winter. Money is tight for him, which it always gets tight. And if you watch the podcast, you can go back and see last winter, the same thing happened. And so anyway, uh, he came down one evening and mom wasn't going to take no for an answer. And we went grocery shopping. And it was so funny because I had my cart and he had his cart. And he hesitated to put stuff in the cart. He's like, no, I don't really need that. He wouldn't buy any chips. He wouldn't buy any pop. Which I get, you know, I bought him a flat of water. I bought him, I bought all the stuff that you need. But honestly, you just need snacks sometimes. Okay. I, I'm not saying that it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just the way that I raised him. And sometimes you just need snacks. I got him a box of 12 packages of popcorn because sometimes you just need something to snack on. You don't need a full meal. You just need snacks. So he wouldn't put any snacks in. He said, no, I don't need those. And we get up to the checkout line. And he's like, why has my cart got more than yours? And I said, because baby, I'm maintaining. You're refilling. You know, I said, it's kind of like having your gas tank half full, half empty. I said, you're running on E. <laughs> he, was, he was very stubborn about it. But um, I told him I could put anything I wanted in his cart because I was paying for it. And I did. I I got him a couple hundred dollars worth of groceries. And it was, we figured out, and the way he sinned is, he, I made him promise to eat one decent meal a day. I don't care if he doesn't eat lunch and dinner. I do care, okay? I would prefer he eats two meals a day just because of his weight and his health. But if he's going to be stubborn, he has to eat at least one decent meal a day, whether it be spaghetti or hamburger helper or chili dogs. I, I got, you know, hot dogs are pretty inexpensive and I got two or three packages of those. And then I got a couple cans of chili and I got Fritos and then I got cheese. Now that in itself right there, you got chili cheese dogs you got Frito chili pies. You got, you know, just a bowl of chili. Um, so he can change that up. And we did, and him and I talked, he has a roast that's in the fridge from that cow that was slaughtered last year. And he said he tried to make one and it was okay. So I bought him that little packet of pot roast seasoning. It's the easiest way to show him that seasoning is all he needs. I said, just put some water in the bottom of it, throw that seasoning in there. And I said, in about 30 minutes before you eat it, cut up. I bought him some potatoes. I said, cut up these potatoes and put them in there. And I said, and it'll be fine. And he, and I said, and you'll have potatoes and meat. And he was like, Oh, okay. So he's not, not trying. He just, um, is having a little bit of struggle. And so, and Coop, you know, he's got to be taking her to the vet and that runs into money too. And so she's doing better. Um, she has one leg that's still a little puffy. It was at finals anyway. And I don't know that they figured out why. Um, I know that he had to take her back to the vet. And so, yeah, when vet bills come up, Things really get tight and feed is high. Everything is high. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, all right, we had that little thing go on. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm going to do a small meal here. Um, Tori and RJ are both going to come. Uh, Macy is going to be at her grandma's. They just can't fit everybody in, especially with, you know, an hour and a half drive in between everything. So he's going to go down there Wednesday night, stay till Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. They're going, she's going to grandma's. He's coming here. And then that's it. 
Um, nobody has anything but Thursday off. So, a roommate, roommate has Friday off too, but my family doesn't have anything, um, doesn't have it off. So, uh, it is what it is. And so, yeah. Uh, we are going to do a meal and we're going to be thankful for what we have. It is going to be a smaller meal this year. Um, as RJ said, everything is just so high. Uh, I walked into um, Walmart and when you get 10% discount on the groceries and stuff, it really helps. Okay. So that's where we go to make our dollar go further. And because I had him with me, um, I did the shopping for Thanksgiving and I did the shopping for lunches here and RJ did the shopping, you know, and I just put stuff in his basket and then told him how to fix it. Um, anyway, so when we were doing, I went and looked at the turkeys and some of the honeysuckle white. Now I never buy honeysuckle white. I just don't. I don't believe that name brand turkeys are any better than any other turkeys. Okay. It's all in the way you prepare it. I have never had one turn out horrible and I buy the cheap always save. Um, no, what is it? Great value. Great value. Young Tom turkeys. And so I walked over the honeysuckle white cause at first that's all I could find. And I told RJ, I said, man, I don't want to have to put my budget. $40. I said, we'll have a ham if that's the case. But yeah, it was $41 for a 13 pound turkey or something. And I about choked. I was like, oh dude, I used to be able to do our whole meal on $40. And I was like, I understand that. I should, but dang, I, I, I sh surely can get a better. So we went and found, um, uh, another, we found they were on down the way and I picked up one and uh, yeah, we got it for about 20 bucks. So we were happy with that. It was just crazy. $41 and 53 cent, whatever weight that was, that's what they wanted for it. No wonder people can't afford to eat, you know? So yeah. Um, I was actually waiting for them to go just a little bit cheaper because up in New York, um, I spoke to somebody up there and they're 58 cents a pound up there down here. They're 98 cents a pound and that's for the cheap birds. I'm like, are you kidding me? 58 cents a pound up there. That's like a freaking gold mine because their wages are higher up there consider to that's in new york in upstate new york so consider to oklahoma oklahoma is down here on the food chain upstate new york is up here and upstate new york has it cheaper than us we can't afford what we have here no wonder our oklahoma is considered a poverty state you know it's like are you kidding me anyway all right enough on that yes we're having turkey mashed potatoes, gravy, uh, rolls. I'm making pumpkin pie and cheesecake. Um, let's see what else. Deviled eggs, gravy, rolls, stuffing, just a small thing. I'm not doing four or five pies and I'm not doing, you know, a ton of, I'm not doing a ham and a turkey. Uh, just doing a turkey, but man, I would love to do both. But honestly, my pocketbook, it was better to spend the money on RJ's food. We figured it up and he had about <coughs> it was more than two weeks, but under three weeks, depending on how cold it was at lunchtime, because he had like cans of raviolis. Okay. And he could eat that for lunch. And that's what it was intended for. But if it wasn't real cold outside, he won't eat a hot lunch. He'll eat a sandwich. So we didn't count in any of the sandwiches. So if he eats a sandwich and then eats the ravioli at night, that's 
you know, he's counting that as a meal. So if he doesn't need a warm lunch, the groceries will go almost three months at three months, three weeks. Um, and remember he's feeding his father too. So this is for two of them. If he doesn't have to eat a lunch, a warm lunch. Okay. It, they will go almost three weeks. If he needs to eat a few warm lunches, it'll be closer to two. But either way, for two weeks, Mama doesn't have to have her heart out there worried that her son is not eating. So, he's doing good. I've been calling him and asking how he's feeling. Did you eat? Been on him. I made him promise when he left here that he would eat one meal a day. You know, and I told him I'd prefer he eat a little more, but one meal a day is good enough. All right. <clears throat> Honestly, guys, I think that's about all I've got. Well, there is one other thing, and that is I'm thinking about taking some of the stuff out and just making this a crochet and spinning fiber podcast. Uh, but for some reason, the words crochet and coffee are coming to mind, and I don't know. I might change it up a little bit. I just don't know. So let me know what you think in the comments. You know, just if I have more people watching for the personal stuff, then I'll probably leave it the way it is. If I have more people watching for the um, crochet, then I will probably change it up a little bit. So please, um, if you're not comfortable leaving a comment, y'all know you can email me. I get emails quite often. So um, yeah, that's easiest way to get me is email or, or um, comment. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thanksgiving and God bless all of you. Bye.